with four fighters left, Napa, Raditz, Vegeta and Goku. They face off against the Universe 6 Assassin hit in the final round of the Universe 6 tournament. Napa faces off against Hit first in his Super Saiyan Blue transformation but is immediately outclassed by Hit's time skip. Even though Raditz can see through Hit's time skip now, he's still no match for Hit after he advances his time skip past his 0.1 second threshold. Finally, Vegeta in his mystic god form finally faces off against Hit as they trade blows over and over and over again with Vegeta coming out on top and winning the Universe 6 tournament. Finally, we move on into the future Trunks saga where Trunks finally time travels back and is gravely injured. This turns out to be the work of a person named as Vegeta Black, a person that looks very identical to Vegeta. This causes Vegeta to be pissed off as he flies upwards, transforming into his mystic god form immediately, ready to face off against Vegeta Black. How will this fight turn out? But we have the final today on Dragon Ball Super. Mystic God form, Vegeta Black is no match for Vegeta as Vegeta immediately pummels Vegeta Black. However, Vegeta Black saw this coming. He knew with so many people tapping into God forms, he could be outmatched due to the sheer presence of so many strong individuals. Thus, he had an escape plan and suddenly a time portal opens up due to the time ring and sends him back into the future. Vegeta tries to land a hit on Vegeta Black, however Vegeta Black immediately flies away into the portal and disappears back into the future. Vegeta was pissed off that he didn't get the finish of Vegeta Black. Meanwhile, Vegeta Black in the future laughs maniacally. The beating he just got from Vegeta just makes him stronger after all. Now he will defeat Vegeta the next time he sees him. However, before making his leave, Vegeta Black had left a parting gift for Trunks as he completely destroys and obliterates Trunks' time machine, preventing him from travelling back into the future. However, Bulma has a plan to fix the time machine thanks to future Bulma's book that contains all the details on the time machine. Afterwards, as usual, Goku travels with Beerus and Whis to Universe 10 where they meet Gowasu and his apprentice Zamasu. The fight between Goku and Zamasu goes off as usual, however, Goku in his base form is really more than enough to take care of Zamasu causing Zamasu to be even more angry than in original canon itself. Afterwards, they make their leave, having found no evidence that Zamasu was Vegeta Black as they travel back to capture corporations. Meanwhile, Uma has finally fixed a time machine and Gohan decides to go along with Trunks, Goku and Vegeta to the future as they enter the time machine and move off into Trunks' timeline. The time machine lands in a destroyed city where Vegeta Black is awaiting them. Vegeta Black is ready to defeat Vegeta once and for all, however, he never accounted for Goku's increase in power. Goku immediately transforms into a mystic god form as well, and his power immediately surpasses anything Vegeta Black has seen. Maybe Vegeta Black has taken the wrong body. Vegeta Black tries to land a hit on Goku, however Goku immediately finishes him off, knowing the threat of Vegeta Black, and seeing the huge increase in power Vegeta Black had just from a single day. Afterwards, Zamasu makes the scene as he looks upon Vegeta's black dead body. Well, he may have to do this himself as he prepares to face off against Trunks, Goku, Gohan and Vegeta. Even though Zamasu is outmatched, he has another power up his sleeve. So how will this fight turn out? Will Zamasu be able to carry out his zero mortal plan? Or will Goku, Vegeta, Trunks, and Gohan prevail? Well, you'll find out next time on Dragon Ball Super. <laughs>